One of the weirdest and most amazing things I've read pictured above are the leaders of the Restore the Ten Commandments group in Kenya, which appeared in 1989. The Catholic priest, the leader of this congregation, announced in 1995 that the end of the world would be in the year 2000, and announced that his church would issue instruments of forgiveness to enter heaven, such as those issued by the church in the Middle Ages in Europe. The sukuk were sold at exorbitant prices, so the poor villagers had to sell their homes and lands to buy these sukuk and guarantee entry into paradise. The priest collected the money with the help of his secretary and his nuns and transferred it to his own account in Italy. But by the year 2000 nothing happened, which raised the suspicions and anger of the residents who lost everything in order to buy these bonds. The priest remedied the situation and announced that the 17th of March of the year 2000 would be the end of the world. On this occasion, he decided to hold a large banquet, which he called the Last Supper, to celebrate entering heaven, and invited all those who had bought indulgences. The nuns put quantities of narcotic substances in the food, the celebrants ate and drank, the church doors were locked, and the priest began killing some of them and convincing others to commit suicide in order to send them to heaven before working to blow up the church and burn 